Danny's done a super job for us. Uh, up until uh, Thruxton, he was Mr. Consistency. Scored a point in every race. We had a couple of unfortunate incidents at Thruxton, which were no fault of his own. But the key thing is, he's still in a showdown place. He's going really well today. We've just had a great warm up. So we're hopeful of a big sack full of points and to nudge ahead of Bradley Ray this weekend. I think uh, for the race, we'll be there or thereabouts. And sort of just plan to get a good start and see what we can do from there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a long race, 18 laps around here. So uh, fitness will come into play, which is always good because I like to consider myself fit. So uh, we'll have a go, we'll see. So everything to play for here at the fabulous Cadwell Park. Came back in, he had stopped. Danny Buchan surges yeah. downhill, James. That was, he was asking a lot of the front tyre then. He was. Oh, oh, Danny's lost the front. He's been really pushing the front end of that FS3 Kawasaki. And Danny Buchan, remember, in the top six, in the showdown at the moment, he may well not be at the end of this meeting. No, it was, uh, it, was a, it was a weird start of a race, really. It was a little bit unsettled. Everyone was a little unsettled. And uh, I actually felt really comfortable, to be honest with you. And, I got up into third, I made a couple of moves, I made a move on Glenn and made the Jake run wide and I sort of was able to capitalise on that and uh, I got back, I was in third and I just come into the bottom of the mountain and I broke but I think, I, I think I don't know if Leon like moved across a little bit or something, it weren't, I'm not blaming Leon but I think he might have moved across a little bit and it forced me to break a little bit harder and I sort of picked up the rear and um, with that the front went down with a full fuel load so absolutely gutting because now we're, we're starting 18th. So it's going to be a bit of a dogfight. Well, I'm not scared of that, but it just makes life a little bit harder. But it's a shame because we had such a strong pace. So yeah, this weekend local round. It's you know coming back to your local track. It's always nice. Friday we were second in the first practice. Just got pipped on the last lap. But in FP2 we had a little mishap. We had a crash and first one of the year, which one you know not ideal when you you're on a bit of form. But you know we've put that to the bed now and we've been strong all weekend. So. Qualifying third for today's race, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in and we had a strong warm up this morning and I think we were in the fight for the podium. You know, this weekend hopefully we can grab the win on front of the home crowd. Jackson in that distinctive orange helmet then running in second place. Oh, he's been looking at it, he's been quick there, that's where he has been quick. McConnell's going to try and respond straight away. He's gone on the inside line. Oh, the aggressive Billy McConnell. Straight back under Lee Jackson after Jackson proved that, pulled that surprise move at Charlie's. Jackson's going the other way this time, but uh, they're having to momentarily defend against Keith Barber. Hey, that was a oh. big mistake. From, what a big moment from Billy was that. Keith got a really good... Oh, he's gone down! Keith Barber loses it, going into the goose neck. And an expensive bill for Tycho BMW as it goes end over end, and he can't believe it. This is going to be victory at last for FS3 Racing. Great ride by Lee Jackson, the local boy, comes good and wins here at Cadwell Park ahead of Billy McConnell. Uh, I'm just hyperventilating for a moment. Absolutely fantastic ride by Lee. He's been great all weekend, he's very consistent. Um, sorry for Keith Farmer. Billy's traction control was working flat out, and so were our heart rates. Absolutely delighted for Lee and the team. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a hard race. I knew the pace would be fast, and mid race I felt really good. Then Keith come by, and I didn't really know what his pace was like, but you know, I'm just really happy to get the win. So, I don't know, cheers. <laughs> We've got people all over the place. Look, Luke Mossy down in 30, Danny Buchan in 50, with a huge amount of work to do. Christian Eden, and as they howl across the line, Michael Laverty just in front of uh, Danny Boom Boom Buchan. We had a decent recovery in the second race, coming all the way through to 17th to within two or three seconds of fifth, even though he was eighth. 
and we're one point between us and Peter Hickman, sixth and seventh place. So everything to play for over the three races at Silverstone in three weeks' time.